Hi, I'm Heather, one of the co-hosts of Felicity Was Here, the ultimate rewatch podcast for the 90s WB show Felicity. Along with my co-hosts, Melissa and Dr. Joe, we are revisiting this underappreciated young adult drama on its 25th anniversary, and we'll be breaking down every episode for longtime and new fans alike. As three super fans ourselves, we think Felicity is a timeless coming-of-age story with relatable characters that was gone much too soon, and we're going to talk about it all. From Felicity's quest for independence to the never-ending debate between Ben versus Noel. It's gonna get heated. So put on your coziest cable knit sweater, grab a cup of Dean and DeLuca coffee, and join us in watching the trials and tribulations of one Felicity Porter. Felicity Was Here premieres on September 28, 2023, with new episodes coming out every Thursday. In the meantime, Here's a sneak peek at the friendships, the heartbreaks, and the 90s fashion all ahead of us. It says, Dear Felicity, here it goes. I've watched you for four years, always wondered what you were like, what was going on in your mind all that time when you were so quiet, just thinking, drawing in your notebook. I should have asked you, but I never asked you. So now, four years later, I don't even know you, but I admire you. Well, this makes me sound crazy. I'm okay with that. So take care of yourself. Love, Ben. P.S. I would have said keep in touch, but unfortunately, we were never in touch. Now Felicity's back in her dorm room with the door wide open. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's not like door closed, locked. She's It's wide open. She's talking on a real old phone with a cord, um, wearing what I think can only be described as like a dirty dishcloth <laughs> colored tank dress. I don't know if that's supposed to be like lingerie. Well, like a yeah. slip. Like it looked more little, like a slip, like a slip. nightgown type but of thing. But it was, like, yeah. it was like thick t-shirt material. Any, it was just, I was like, girl, what are you wearing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was odd. And she's talking to her dad again, you know, eye roll conversation with her dad. Like, I want to get off the phone, just trying to stall. So we see uh, this adorable floppy yeah. brown haired boy standing at her door, peeking in. He's holding his laundry bag. crush on someone you just are obsessed I don't know with all them. the things <laughs> it's like now we would google someone we were like yeah. interested in to find what would come up it's kind Put of like all their Googling, social media put in the 90s. yeah <laughs> that's all she had that's all she had to work with she couldn't gotcha. google him yeah yeah, yeah. that's a great You're point, right so. she was but it's still sketchy was... it's a little sketchy thing to do <laughs> and she could get fired <laughs> Oh my God. But yeah, you're right. She probably doesn't. She de probably doesn't care. And at that point, just wanted to feel closer to him or learn anything and everything. So you're right. Yeah, you couldn't just Google and stalk someone on Facebook or Instagram back in the day. You had, you had their to stalk them proper back essays. In the day. Yeah, <laughs> you had to stalk them in person in a real tangible kind of way. <laughs> you had to go undercover and look in the file cabinets. Oh, yeah, man. file cabinets like touch actual paper. That's amazing. <laughs> Ben moments because he has this such a cute sly smile <laughs> like he knows something weird is going on with Noel and like he can recognize maybe Noel likes her but his cute little sly smile is my like hottest moment of the episode for Ben <laughs> it's That's at 21 adorable. minutes and 26 seconds if anybody wants to look it up <laughs> you can it's Melissa, ha Melissa has it <laughs> has it screenshotted that's her computer background it's like you're saying I think Scott Speedman is really good at expressing like those little like shy or like you know kind of embarrassed moments with his face so that that was my favorite Ben moment of the episode that he wanted to tell her the truth. He says it's because she provokes him just by the way she looks at him. <laughs> I see Heather shaking her head. You said, Heather, because she's very expressive with her face, so that's possible, I think. <laughs> she can provoke somebody with no, her features. I think this is probably true, but again, if she has these deep feelings for him, are, I think men, are they just really this dense where they don't understand the impact that their words have? Like if someone were to tell me that I provoke them just by looking at them, how, I mean, I'm shopping for wedding dresses 10 minutes later, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's like, let's, let's pick a date. Yeah. When are we going to make this official? I want this to spring, fall wedding, what color? 